Leroy Chow is co-founder and CEO of One Orbit, a training and space education company. He's also a former NASA astronaut and International Space Station commander. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. So Leroy, how do you inspire more young people to pursue space exploration as a career? Talk to us about uh, some of your former colleagues, what you experienced uh, during your career in space. What drew them, what drew you to space, and what can draw other kids to space? Absolutely. Well, you know, I was born uh, in the 1960s, and so I grew up during the very beginning of the space program. It was definitely the Apollo 11 moon landing 50 years ago this year, coming up soon. Uh, that inspired me as an eight-year-old boy to dream about space and dream about wanting to become an astronaut myself. And I studied engineering and I worked hard and I was fortunate enough to be uh, accepted by NASA and had a 15-year flying career, including serving as the commander of the International Space Station. So I definitely uh, was inspired by the space program and I want to go out and inspire other young people too. And that's what One Orbit is all about. It's about using the excitement of space exploration to get young people to start thinking about what they want to do, whether it's in space flight or space exploration or something else. And so I think that's the beginning though, is getting them excited, getting those creative juices flowing and getting them starting to dream and imagine what they want to be when they grow up. We just saw the story about the Mars camp in Gansu province in China. So how is China reaching out to more rural and isolated areas to get young people there interested in space exploration? I think that's very important to go out to the rural areas and get people excited. Uh, you have all these stories of people from very humble beginnings going out and doing amazing things. And it's get, getting that imagination going, getting them thinking about how they might form a path to succeed in space exploration or, or another, another challenging field. And so I think it's wonderful uh, that uh, China is emphasizing going out to uh, some of the rural areas, just like we go out to some of the rural areas around the world in different places, including coming out and starting programs in Asia. Uh, we are going out and going to spend six weeks in Asia this year, this summer, and we're very excited to be expanding out into China, too, because of my Chinese heritage that's, that's of, uh, of special interest to me. So I'm excited to see that uh, uh, some of the rural area kids are getting to experience the excitement of space exploration, even if it's from uh, a secondhand source. And now we're seeing all these private space companies uh, open up, these, this new sort of industry. How can that increase opportunities, not just for young astronauts, but on young entrepreneurs? I mean, now there's this sort of business side to space as well. Sure, you see a lot of uh, startups from around the world, uh, certainly here in the U.S., Europe, Asia, including China, and uh, we have a lot of these people with great ideas, uh, small sats, small launchers, and you know what? The vast majority of them will fail, but that's okay because that's just the nature of the business. It was the same way in the 1970s and the 1980s with the computer revolution, the small computers, desktops, laptops. The vast majority of those companies failed, but competition is good. We see that, and in here in the United States, you see companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin, which started up as startups, right? And look where they are now. They're doing amazing things uh, that the industry has not seen before. So I think it's wonderful that we see similar activities happening all around the world, in China, in Asia, Europe, uh, Russia, everywhere uh, I've gone, I've seen uh, examples of, of entrepreneurship, and I think this is another great consequence of this interest in space exploration. In terms of the education, I mean, we're talking about the inspiration, but when it comes to seeing that through, has that changed at all through the years? I mean, how would you advise a young person who wants a career in space? Should they go into engineering? What's the track? I think it really depends what your passion is. If your passion is technical, certainly go pursue engineering. I was always interested in technical things. Even though my passion was to become an astronaut, uh, I also wanted to become an engineer. And that was an enabler to let me go ahead and apply to NASA and then to actually get selected to be an astronaut. But there are plenty of opportunities in the space business if you're uh, interested in business or languages or you know even arts, things like that. Of course, we use a lot of graphic artists and a lot of of people, uh, writers, you know, so there's opportunities in space for, uh, for virtually any kind of career. We have medical doctors, we have psychologists, we have, you know, I mean, just, just name it. Uh, NASA and other space agencies around the world use these people and hire these people, and of course, entrepreneurs, as we were just talking about.